Do you know that before the theorems of the great mathematicians Euclid and Pythagoras, geometry formulas were present in our Vedas? Maharishi Bodhayana had discovered this theorem 1,000 years before the birth of Pythagoras, and at that time it was known as Baudhayana Sulba Sutra in the Vedas. Maharishi Bodhayana was the original mathematician behind the discovery of Pythagoras' theorem, the oldest theorem of mathematics. The Vedas were composed 2,500 years ago, and the formulas of Vedic mathematics were composed 400 to 500 years after the Vedas. It clearly means that Sulba Sutras are at least 2,000 to 1,500 years old. Maharishi Baudayan had composed the Pythagorean theorem, and after 1,000 years, the theorem of Euclid and Pythagoras was discovered, which you can also read on encryptedpast.com. In ancient India, there are many such sutras, which give proof of mathematical knowledge and accuracy of that time, and which were used in making Yajna Alter, because it is written in our Vedas, that if the size of Yajna is according to a certain length and width, if it is not done, then the Yajna is not considered successful. That is why Maharishi discovered such mathematical formulas, so that the size of the Yajna Vedis could be made correctly. And the compilation of these sutras is today known as Sulba Sutra. Just look at this formula, famous in the world as Pythagoras theorem, has been clearly written in the Vedas in Sanskrit language, in which Maharishi has written something like this. Dirgha Chaturasyakshnya Rajju Parshomani Tiryagmani Chayat Prithghag Bhute Krutastha Dubhayam Karoti It means that the square of the diagonal of a quadrilateral or rectangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, which we know today as Pythagoras' theorem. Maharishi Bodhayana also provides another statement, using a rope measurement for an isosceles right triangle. A rope that is stretched across a square produces an area twice the size of the original square. Syadvikaran. Pramanam trati yena vardayat takkaturthenatma katustrim shonena savishesa. But the sad thing is that Maharishi Bodhayan is not given credit for this theorem. Today we know it by the name of Pythagoras' theorem in our books also. Apart from this, there is also mention of great mathematicians of India, like Manav, Apastamb, and Katyayan in our Vedas, who made invaluable contributions in the field of mathematics, and many Sulba Sutras were written by them, which were taught as a subject in ancient universities like Nalanda, Takshashila, Vikramshila, and Telhara, who later gave birth to great mathematicians like Banabhata, Bhaskaracharya, Aryabhata, Mahavir, Pingala, Pavuluri Malana and Madhava. But in the year 1202 AD, our ancient library of priceless knowledge present in Nalanda University was burned to ashes by Bhaktiar Kilji, and in that fire more than 93,000 books of more than 64 subjects were burnt to ashes. And that is why today we have found only seven parts of Vedic mathematics, and the remaining formulas were copied and taken under their own names and the names of our sages and mathematicians were buried in the pages of history. So friends, let's end today's video here, and for more information you can visit our website encryptedpast.com. In the next video, we will talk about some more formulas of Sulba Sutra and the mathematical accuracy of Yagya Altars. How did you like this video? You can tell us in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till then, thank you. Namaskar Satshriya Kal. Bye-bye.